Hello everyone, and welcome to another look at gameplay in Monster Hunter Rise for Nintendo Switch. Today, we'll be hunting using the Charge Blade, one of Monster Hunter's more technical weapon types. Each weapon type in Monster Hunter Rise has access to customizable movesets, known as Switch Skills. This flexibility allows you to optimize your approach and playstyle during hunts. Using our Palamic will allow us to track down this threat a little easier. In Monster Hunter Rise, your initial visits to fresh locales will have your map shrouded. But careful exploration will slowly reveal the nature of your surrounding environments and record findings for future hunts. It's a wise move to keep an eye out for endemic life to give you vital buffs during the quest such as the Speedy Lamp Squirrel. The Frost Islands were once the nest for a gigantic dragon. As you explore this desolate locale, you'll discover the remnants of dragon bones and even a dragon ship used by hunters. Our target today is the bone-chilling Goss Harag, an icy fang beast that stalks the Frost Islands. Now we've found our target, it's time to hunt. Hunter, Palico and Palamute are all sporting gear from the sinister Raknakadaki. Goss Harag is a stout fine beast with an incredibly short fuse. Its signature trait is its ability to exhale a freezing cold breath and use it to attack its foes directly or to produce a solid blade of ice. Whilst able to use Cunning and Guile, Goss Harag is not against using more brutish forms of attack. Its ground pounds are a force to be reckoned with. Goss Harag takes inspiration from the Namahage, a fearsome Oni from Japanese folklore. Charge Blade is a versatile weapon which, when wielded in the right hands, can provide devastating results. Hunters will want to effectively store and manage the use of Charge Blade files to ensure that they are both protected and able to dish out big damage in the form of elemental discharges. Tranodon and Goss Harag will often encroach on each other's feeding grounds. While Goss Harag is always in search for food to maintain a stable body temperature, the Tranodon needs quiet waters to catch some fish. The Axe Hopper offers hunters some new mobility options, whilst allowing them to still deal out potent attacks and elements discharge. The 
new to Monster Hunter Rise is the ability to use wire bugs to constrict and puppeteer monsters. Here, we're taking the reins on Tetranodon to dish out big damage on Boss Perez. Land successful attacks on another monster to build up the Wyvern Riding Group. And once it's full, use the Mounted Punisher attack for massive damage. As we mentioned, Switch Skills will allow hunters to customize their playstyle to suit their needs. Here, our hunter will swap the use of Condensed Element Slash for the use of Condensed Skin and Slash allowing for an axe-focused playstyle to be highly capable of locking down the Counter Morph Slash is a defensive morphing ability with a longer blocking range. If we're able to block an attack with this move, the follow-up elemental discharges deal extra damage. The Stink Mink is a useful crystal, allowing hunters to bait their prey. This endemic life form will allow hunters to lure monsters by coating themselves in its pungent scent. Finding the optimal location to hunt monsters is a key strategy for a successful quest. Gombi is a fast-moving, rabbit-like beast capable of icy flurry of attacks. Different monsters will have different attacks to help you take down your targets. Hunters can utilize the appearance of other monsters to help turn the tides of battle. Don't squander these opportunities. Because Haragan raged, hunters will need to tread very carefully around his relentless pressure. 
stay cool, calm, and collect. Also be launched into walls for extra damage, but will require wire bugs to combo multiple hits. Monsters will remain tethered for a brief window after being launched. While they're locked down, hunters can dish up some serious damage, but be on your guard, they can still attack in your face. Calico is still the perfect companion on a hunt. With the ability to provide support, hunters can rest assured that they can rely on these fairy friends. The ability you see here is known as Healing. It provides a healing AoE for nearby hunters. Quest complete. After a job well done, don't forget to carve your target for useful materials to craft stronger gear back at Camaro Village. With a plethora of armor weapons and gear for you to chase, it's truly up to you to make your hunt your own. The hunt begins in Monster Hunter Rise on Nintendo Switch, March 26, 2021.